The ongoing Black History Month controversy in Miami. Well, after facing widespread backlash for requiring students to get signed permission slips to participate in Black History Month events, the Miami-Dade School District has now made a change. Local 10's Hatzel Vela has been following the story since we first learned about it, and he has an update for us. Hatzel. Eden, so today we're being told principals have been told to stop using the form. Remember, it's been two weeks since we first brought you this story, since you first met that concerned mother who was talking about what was happening here. It's brought attention to the issue. Jill Peeling was the first parent to publicly denounce the issue. The reason this has gotten so much traction is because people know it's wrong. Two weeks ago, she came forward shocked when she had to sign a permission form so her daughter could participate in Black History events at iPrep Academy. Since then, more parents have come forward and the story we first broke is now getting national attention. Days after a story aired, folks started talking about it. School board members started asking questions concerned about the unintended consequences this could have on children whose parents did not sign the form. I'm glad they're discussing it. However, I think they are looking at the wrong issue. Um, they're looking at the implementation of the law instead of the law itself. The district adamant those permission slips would not affect black history curriculum, blaming the new policy on a state law and a board of education rule. Yesterday, the state blamed it on the district. That was wrongly done at that school. Superintendent has been advised. But some say the rule is vague, and some of the language does reference signed permission forms. Several sources now telling Local 10 a directive not to use the form has gone out, which says Form 2424 is undergoing a revision. So please postpone use of Form 2024 until further notice. I'd like the district to get some clarity. I also would like to see them push back a little bit. She and other parents tell me what you're seeing is the downstream effects vague state laws are having what in the classroom. The They've created a, an environment where the schools are terrified of getting dinged and losing money. They're already fighting for resources as it is, and I think that a lot of them are afraid of getting in trouble with the Board of Ed. Back out live tonight, the district is uh, confirming that this form is being revised, but at this point not saying when it will be done. For now, reporting live from Miami, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.